Hi, my name is Lily and today's video is going to be about how to make cordage out of natural materials. Stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, what's important when it comes to making cordage? Uh, first, you want to find some kind of material which is long enough and you want to find a material which is strong enough to make a good cordage. For example, this horse tail here would be long enough, but it's so brittle and yeah, it rips off easily so it's not suitable for making cordage. So the first material that I found which is suitable for cordage making is this grass here. It seems to be like a very strong grass which is not so easy to uh, rip apart. So now I'm gonna collect this grass here and yeah I'm gonna take my knife for collecting it because sometimes you can cut yourself with grass and this one has a very sharp edge. So first I want to start out with two grasses here and I'm gonna bend them over not right in the middle, which would be here, but a little bit off the middle here. So first I make this loop here and then I just continue twisting uh, the grass and uh, flip it over the other end. Okay, now as we can see, one end is getting short. So now I'm gonna take two more of this grass here. And I'm gonna set it onto the grass like so and just start twisting again and locking the two new grasses inside of the old thread. Okay, at the end of the cordage, I just make a simple square knot. So now let's see how much this cord here can take. Uh. Okay, I estimate that it takes about two kilos to rip. Another good cordage material which is a little bit more robust than grass is stinging nettle. And the good thing about stinging nettle is that it grows fairly long so you have very long fibers. Yeah, so stinging nettle has the ability that it stings, but it loses that ability by throwing it into the water. And by the way, this pile of stones here is the leftovers of my primitive oven. Okay, next I want to uh, process the stinging nettle stems here a little bit and I'm hitting them with a rock because uh, they are quite sturdy and I want to loosen them up a little bit. No, 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 go away. Mm. Ah. Ah. Okay, I just finished a piece of uh, stinging nettle cordage here. And this is much, much stronger than grass. Really, it's very strong. <coughs> yeah, another good material for cordage making is willow bark. And we have one willow here and now I'm gonna cut off a sapling. Okay, first of all, I want to debark the sapling here. And I found that the best way to debark uh, willow saplings is with your knife. You just shave off the bark 
with your knife. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, now I ended up with this nice long straps here and yeah, it's quite a lot of uh, cordage material for this small sapling, I have to say. Okay, this is what I've made in about 15 minutes. And the smaller one is strong, but not that strong. So stinging nettle is much better. So it's maybe better if you uh, take more strands and make the cordage a little bit thicker and then yeah it's pretty strong so you can use willow cordage for shelter building for example another good cordage material comes from the ground right now i'm in a spruce tree forest and spruce tree roots make excellent cordage. Yeah, I just dug up this piece of spruce root here and yeah, this is instant cordage. So you can use it right away to make a shelter. And if you want to, you can split it in half Okay, now I have two very nice pieces of root and yeah, this is just instant cordage. You can use it for shelter making or for a bow drill, for example. So yeah, this makes great, great cordage and it doesn't take a lot of time to dig it up. Well guys, so I'm super happy that uh, the bow drill worked using this uh, spruce cordage here. And yeah, I think that cordage making makes a lot of fun. And yeah, it's just awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that this worked. Cool. Yeah, so if you want to see other videos, check out these videos here and uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned till next time. Bye.